Disaster is striking twice for people who are victims of FEMA scams following Hurricane Ida. News 10's Neil Zarang is in the studio with what schemes are being used and how leaders with the Federal Emergency Management Agency say you can catch them. That's right, Dalford. In some cases, it's full-blown identity theft. People are reporting FEMA agents showing up for inspections on claims they never registered for. Homeowners are learning someone falsely used their name, address, and social security number to get the initial funds for emergency shelter and food, typically five to seven hundred dollars. But when an inspector eventually arrives, the truth comes out. Other con artists posing as FEMA agents will ask for things a real inspector would not, such as financial information, money, or your disaster assistance registration number. These are kind of red flags that'll pop up for people to not fall um, for them. And um, just remember that FEMA is not to take, one well, does not want to take, it wants to be here to help you. Um, but you know, you also have a responsibility to protect yourself as well. So be cautious or on the side of caution. If you do doubt a FEMA representative is legitimate, pause and call the FEMA helpline to report the incident. You can see it on your screen. And if you are afraid you have been scammed, there's a fraud hotline you can find attached to the story on KLFY.com. Niels Rang, back to you. Thanks, Neil.